Hello and welcome to Rajshree Food. My name is Anuradha Toshniwal and it is my great pleasure to bring to you a very old Indian cookie called naan kathai and I shall walk you through the ingredients. Half a cup of flour which is maida, 1/3 cup of semolina which is suji, 1/4 cup of caster sugar. Now caster sugar is important. Don't take powder, don't take the whole sugar but caster sugar. 1/4 cup of ghee. Now ghee is another thing that it needs to go into this and not butter. Cardamom powder which is an optional if you want to give that flavoring and 1 tablespoon of whole wheat flour which is atta which has been sieved well. So we need a very fine mesh of the atta not with bran. So let's get started. So we'll take our flour. Basically, we have to put together all the ingredients: the semolina, the caster sugar, the whole wheat flour, and we shall mix it well. Hands, of course, are the best instruments to do this mixing. Very lightly, but just mixing it well so that all the flours are amalgamated. Now I'm going to take my ghee. I'm not going to add the whole amount at the same time but little by little because sometimes in the hot season the ghee is more runny we may need a little less sometimes in the winters we may need a little more so we need about a cup of ghee into the mixture it's beginning to form into a little more solid dough So now once that the ghee has mixed well into the mixture we might need a little water just to make a nice dough so again little by little add the water to the dough don't we put it at one go mix well and see if the dough is forming a little bit more so that's 2 tablespoons beginning to get the semblance of the dough now so i'm going to take this dough onto my board Now this can't be done in your dough making machine which we use for our cake making or any other dough uh, mixture that we make in that whirling machine this has to be done by hand because it has to be very lightly kneaded so now our dough is ready it is just pliable so if you're making this uh, naan kathai in hot weather then i would suggest that you put this dough into the refrigerator to let it get a little more firm and the ghee to solid solidify If you are in cool weather it's fine to continue making it so we're going to make the little balls now we approximately get 15 small balls from this take one part of the ball make a dent in the middle take a pinch of the cardamom put it in and seal it well and place it in your baking tray so anand kanai is all ready now i'm going to just make a dent in the top if you want to if you don't that's also all right This is just a little decoration. There. Now I'm going to put this into the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. And then pop it into the oven at 120 to 140 degrees C till they are nice and golden which should take about 20 to 25 minutes. Now 140 degrees C would be ideal for a semi largeish oven but if you have a small oven like an OTG then do make it 120 but i would still recommend that you see how your oven works if it is getting too hot then reduce it further so play it by ear and take care of your naan kathai that it doesn't get burnt So our naan kathai is nice and golden and ready to be tried. Let it cool down. Our naan kathai is ready and you can serve it to your guests with tea or coffee or any time of the day. So hope you enjoyed this episode of naan kathai and hope you will make it for your family. And before that I request you to subscribe to Rajshree Food. See you next time. Bye bye.